Hello everybody, welcome to Euro Channel. What is the best PDE5 inhibitor when it comes to cost effectiveness? How do generic drugs compare to Viagra and Cialis? Here's the big price performance comparison. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I'm a urologist and sexologist. In 1998, Viagra came on the market and revolutionized the treatment of erectile dysfunction. Then came Cialis in 2002, Levitra in 2003, and Standra in 2014. Meanwhile, Standra is the only one that is not yet available as a generic medicine. All the others are. Viagra is sildenafil, Cialis is tadalafil, and Levitra is vardenafil. By the way, the active ingredient of Standra is called avanafil. Basically, these four preparations can be divided into two groups, the short-acting and the long-acting. Sildenafil and vardenafil have a shorter half-life and break down more quickly. Tadalafil and avanafil have a much longer half-life. Basically, it has to be kept in mind that food that contains high amounts of fat may have an influence on the absorption of the drug, the concentration it reaches in the bloodstream, and therefore its duration of action. This is very pronounced with sildenafil, but not at all with tadalafil. If you have eaten something beforehand, you may then have to take a higher dosage to achieve the same effect. This also makes it more expensive. I often experience that apples are compared to oranges in terms of dosage. Many believe that sildenafil works best because tablets are offered with 100 mg, whereas tadalafil only goes up to 20 mg. However, this cannot be compared because they are two different drugs. 100 mg is the maximum for sildenafil, 20 mg for tadalafil, 20 mg for vardenafil and 200 mg for avanafil. Regarding the price, there is a price war among manufacturers and online pharmacies. You have to search a bit to find the best price. I just randomly went on the internet and picked out the prices for the original and then for generics. I also did some research to find out the prices in the US, but that turned out to be difficult. So I only present the prices for Germany. The price listed in the table is for one tablet at the respective maximum dose. When looking at the average person who has good effect from all available drugs and no side effects, Tadalafil is the most cost-effective drug. It offers a long-lasting effect for the smallest price. Depending on the dosage, it may last up to 48 hours. However, this is rather the exception. Many patients report a 24-hour duration of effect. If you buy the original drug Cialis, then Tadalafil suddenly becomes the most expensive PD-5 inhibitor. The side effects are similar with all PD-5 inhibitors, but can vary a lot between patients. Common are nasal congestion, flushing and headaches. I see this all the time with Sildenafil and Tadalafil. With Vardenafil, patients complain less frequently and Avenafil I prescribe too rarely to be able to give a well-founded report on side effects. It currently has the worst price performance ratio as there are enough generic alternatives. In case of lack of efficacy of the other three PD-5 inhibitors or in case of pronounced side effects, I always have it as a wild card. It is my personal impression that Vardenafil is effective in most men, whereas the efficacy of the other drugs depends more on individual parameters. A word about side effects. Just because they are listed in the package insert doesn't mean that they will necessarily occur. Many patients falsely assume that they will always experience side effects with every drug. This is called the nocebo effect and is the opposite of the placebo effect. With the nocebo effect, people are convinced that they will get harmful side effects, which then also occur because of this conviction. However, real side effects exist and they are somewhat specific for each drug. Nasal congestion is more common with sildenafil. Tadalafil has back pain and heartburn in its program. By the way, it makes little sense to buy high-dose tablets and then split them to save money. Manufacturers know about this habit and have adjusted their prices accordingly, so that it is usually no longer worth doing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.